The saint of the day for June 15th, Saint Germain Cousin, daughter of Laurent Cousin, a farm worker, and Marie La Roche. Her mother died while Germain was an infant. A sickly child, Germain suffered from scrofula, and her right hand was deformed. Ignored by her father and abused by her stepfamily, she was often forced to sleep in the stable or in a cupboard under the stairs, was fed on scraps, beaten, or scalded with hot water for misdeeds real or imagined. At age nine, Germaine was put to work as a shepherdess, where she spent much time praying, sometimes using a rosary she made from a knotted string. She refused to miss mass, and if she heard the bell announcing services, she sent her crook and her staff in the ground, declared her flock to be under the care of her guardian angel, and went to church. Her sheep were unharmed during her absences. It is reported that once she crossed the raging Corbet River by walking over the water so she could get to church, Germaine was so poor it is hard to imagine she would be able to help others, but she was always ready to try, especially children whom she gathered in the fields to teach a simple catechism and share the little food she had. The locals laughed at her religious devotion and called her the little bigot. Once in winter, her stepmother, Hortense, accused her of stealing bread by hiding it in her apron and threatened to beat her with a stick. Germaine opened her apron and summer flowers tumbled out. Her parents and neighbors were awed by the obvious miracle and began to treat her as a holy person. Her parents invited her to rejoin the household, but Germaine chose to live as she had. In 1601, she was found dead on her straw pallet under the stairs, and she was buried in the church of Pibrac opposite the pulpit. When accidentally exhumed in 1644 during a renovation, her body was found incorrupt. In 1793, the casket was desecrated by an anti-Catholic tinsmith named Tulza, who with three accomplices took out the remains and buried them in the sacristy, throwing quicklime and water on them. After the French Revolution, her body was found to be still intact, save where the quicklime had done its work. Documents attest to more than 400 miracles or extraordinary graces received through the intervention of Saint Germain. They include cures of every kind, of blindness, both congenital and resulting from disease, of hip and of spinal disease, and the multiplication of food. She was born in 1579 at Pibrac, France. She died in 1601 in her parents' home, apparently of natural causes. She was canonized on June 29, 1867, by Pope Blessed Pius IX. Saint Germain Cousin, pray for us.